Last time on Avalon with Alex the Human Wraith, Curtin the Fiend Conscript, Ivan the Atlan Encanter, Nevo the Atlan Necros, Jack the Fiend Armorist, and Simon the Human Montebank. Aye. <laughs> Our crew finds themselves in the furtive village of Flittermouse, a town blanketed in twilight underneath a magnetic field. Piercing the veil, the group's magically powered car suddenly acts up and spontaneously ejects its core, containing the seemingly alive golden substance that enabled its magic miraculous properties. Wrangling the squirming mass back into its home, the crew disguise their vehicle and make their way into town. Discovering that it is populated by simple god-fearing farmers, all of whom appear to be suffering from a serious vitamin D deficiency. There we go. Splitting off in, er, splitting off the search to town for their quarry, Jack and Ivan manage to discover the humble home of Solween Brooks, who, under the effects of the nomadic field, has completely forgotten about the existence of his own twin sister and was desperately trying to sort through his own memories. After a brief chat, Ivan decided to make his way back towards the group, while Jack figured that he could get a good bird's eye view of the town by taking flight. However, as Jack took wing and flew into the sky, Nevo managed to spy a swarm of screeching bats making a beeline straight for the flying Nephine. And that is where we will pick it up. Why am I waiting for one day you you do an introduction with a seventh member? <laughs> Why are you waiting for that? Because I'm already dealing with six of you. <laughs> no, I meant like a, a, a false hydra situation. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, right. Need to drag poor freaking Maz into this mess. <laughs> Since he's the only one I know who'd be available. <laughs> All right, uh, Jack. Mm-hmm. Roll me that perception. Oh boy! First roll of the night. Let's see how bad I roll. I remember something involving crows last time. Bats. Bats. Or bats is one. I'm historically bad at these. 24. There we go. You say. Jack, as you're kind of fluttering all over the town, um, it's definitely a small place. Uh, lots of little cottages here and there, lots of farmland, lots of forest. And as you're kind of glancing around, just trying to get in a good view of this place, you suddenly see a black swarm just bolting towards you at mock speed. Accompanied by this horrible screeching noise. Is that a murder of crows or a murder of bats? Either way, that looks fun. <coughs> what I want you to do is roll me a fly check. Oh boy. This is the first time using this. Oh great. I have a negative two to this piece of my armor. Actually, <laughs> actually, a group of bats would be called a camp. That's a seven. <laughs> you hear Ivan down below. Actually, that is called a camp as this cloud of bats it just like <laughs> slams right into you. And you feel their thousands of little wings. Their thousands of just the tiny little claws that they have on them just swarming around you. Join us in our next episode. Jack gets 25 rabies shots. <laughs> All to the gut. Jack is just... Jack is just gonna blow off a shot. Next. Uh, it doesn't matter who... He, what what uh, bat he hits. It's just to try to disperse them. Okay, so, uh, roll an attack. 17. Alright. That's minimum damage, great. But point blank gives that to at least a 5. <laughs> okay. Um, 
This is also partially why I grabbed the Imperial Leon, because it's so much better range than the old pistol I had. Same damage, it's just better freaking range. Because short range went from 20 to 80. Because this is a swarm, you cannot target anything individually. So oh. you're just trying to disperse them. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You, you want to use something with uh, saves instead? I, so, I have slow. So hold on. Hold on, guys. As you go and fire off into this thing, they are itty bitty little vampire bats. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, and you suddenly All feel right. yourself starting to get heavy. <clears throat> as you feel their little their little masses, their little fuzzy masses begin to all clamor onto your jacket. Mm, this is like, not what I had planned today. You know what would be really bad is if is if this town was suddenly infested with vampires. Alright, well, to get out of the swarm, he's gonna do something smart. He's gonna use a combination of base teleport using a spell point increase from to medium range, but also use distant teleport <laughs> to make it long range okay. so he's going to waste two spell points on that I don't know what long range would be it is Wait, 400 feet plus 100 feet per caster level can you use two metamatics ow I believe no, those are just yeah, listed on his character sheet as metamagics oh. those aren't literal metamagics yeah he's just we don't have a spheres of power character sheet. Mm. Here we go. All half right. Half of mine are listed as spell slots, and half of mine are listed as feats. Like you just kind of do what you gotta do. Oh, sorry. Uh, so <laughs> he's gonna try to like briefly try. Uh, I am close is the ground from... I mean, he wouldn't have flown too terribly high. Yeah. 400 feet. I mean, he said plus an additional how many ever for my caster level. So, and my caster level is like quarter. Yeah. You will need to roll a caster level check. <laughs> I don't Be know how to do that. So... Duh, 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 duh. Spellcasters... Or spellcasting... Yep. And the spell is half your level, so... Oh, so that'd be two if we're rounding down. Yep, so DC's going to be 22. Uh, oh. And you are going to need to roll. Click on I would assume my, in my casting modifier or casting ability. So... Right. Yeah, your caster level plus your casting stat. So your ca so roll an int plus five. Uh, half that because you are half a caster. Right. So he's in my that. roll an int plus an two progression. I don't know if he's at three or two right now. And that's a fifteen now. Okay. As you begin to. Attempt to cast your spell, trying to teleport yourself on out of there. Um, your arms are heavy, because there is just... It's almost... Have you ever seen those pictures of the guys who, like, bring the bees onto their faces to make, like, beards? <laughs> so, you have just a hundred bats just kind of clinging onto your jacket, just weighing you down, and it's just really awkward. You're like, oh god, they got the little climby, the little climby doohickeys. And it oh, looks. Wait, is this a concentration it, check or a caster level check? Uh. Duh, 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 duh. That was a caster level check. Yes. I think it should have been a concentration. 
Swarm possesses the distraction. Are required to make a caster level check. Caster level check? Okay. Yep. Because swarms possess distraction, universal monster rule. And you feel, Jack, you feel yourself beginning to slowly, like, like fall, not fall, but kind of, like, descend. Descending. There you go. And he's. <sighs> God, I wish God, I had that fucking AoE. And you see them. But I don't. And you see them like gathering on your jacket and are like licking your jacket. Oh, the right. They assume it's blood because it's red lol. Uh, Just be glad you're not biting into you. Ivan. Yet. Can I roll to see if I notice uh, a big ball of bats? Go, go ahead. Uh, okay. Let me pull up the character sheet. Uh, let's see what I, let's see what I get from you. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Uh, three, two, one. Her! Nineteen. Nineteen. You see Jack kind of floating up in the air. He looks like he's having a little bit of trouble keeping himself afloat. But there is just like he is just encompassed in bats at the moment. Uh, I kind of give uh, Curtin a poke. Uh, Curtin? Yes? I don't think the, I don't think Jack looks that, that good. Point to Jack. Get off me, you damn little gremlins! <laughs> oh god, you have a bunch of Yoshis now! Maybe this will scare him away. He uh, points his flintlock and then pepper box in the air and fires off a couple of shots trying to intimidate them. Right. Hoping uh, the loud noise will disperse them. That's what he was hoping with the, his pistol, but. I believe you actually might have a grit for that. Nevo? Um, does he, do they seem that. focused on him currently, or do any of them seem like they're going north to, like, the house? up there. No, they're all kind of focused on Jack at the moment. How far is Jack from us? Uh, I mean, he probably would have flown about like uh, about a hundred feet up. Here we go. He was flying at a moderate. He wasn't going fast. Utility, shoot, blessed look. Okay, so you don't have startling shot. Okay, so go ahead and roll me an intimidation check. Let's just see if the loud noise does anything. We're going to take some penalties just because of how far off you guys are. Is this happening kind of like above us? Or are we emerging from the woods yet? <laughs> I would say you guys would be uh, Simon and... Um, Alex, you two would be kind of emerging from the woods. I'll let you guys roll a perception check to see. I do want to try something, if possible. And also, this seems like a call for initiative, probably. I see all. <laughs> I see some. <laughs> Simon, you hear the fluttering of wings and the little screechy noises that they make. <laughs> Alex, you see Jack up in the air trying to brush these bats off him, and they look like they're just kind of, like, crawling all over him. Squint, is that Jack? Oh, is that and the, why that does, the flat wing of wings is? And why does he uh, have a fur coat now? Women point. Where? Yeah, can I try something? <laughs> Give me one. Give one yeah. second, Kit. What am I looking at? It appears to be Jack covered in bats. Are those bats? 
Oh dear. I don't know how fucking well this works. Wait, bats? Mm -hmm. Remember when I feared Alus Fane may be involved? I <laughs> hope they're not vampire bats. Kit? Yeah? What was your plan? This is gonna be dumb. I want to walk over to... to under where Jack is. Okay, so you go running off to where he is. Yep. It's a hike. <laughs> <laughs> You're like running yeah. through people's farms and, uh... Yeah. You're you're doing long sprints over their uh, over their fences. I'd like to try something. What is that? I don't. I am going to take out uh, the goat pelt. Oh, that's. And then I'm going. Hmm? I completely <laughs> forgot. Curtin was supposed to be rolling a uh, intimidate check. Yeah, I'm oh. gonna. My plan is essentially to. <laughs> Do the same thing. Get close, and then do try the intimidate. Check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then maybe I might not have to do my thing. Okay. Well, but what uh, was what was the actually, thing you were doing? Uh, pointing my pistol in the air and firing, hoping that the loud bangs oh. is enough to at least either divert or scare them away. Okay. Um, but, but Ivan, what was the thing you were doing? I was going to take out the goat pelt. <laughs> this is going to sound so stupid. But I was going to take take it out, take out the light, the lighter, and kind of light it, not enough for it to fully burn, but for it to smoke. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Burning goat. So. It's smoke. Well, no, yeah, the air is going to smell nasty. <laughs> All right, let me roll f to see what the bats do. <laughs> I said this is a dumb idea. I mean, it's not a dumb idea. It's certainly unique. I'll give it that. <laughs> Ooh. It's an idea. They do not like smoke, at least generally speaking. All righty, then. This is what they do. Ivan, as you begin to light your goat skin on fire... And the smell of just this burning goat hair kind of wafts into your face. You hear a curtain just rack off around right behind you. Jack, as you are fluttering in the air, all the little bats that are clinging onto you suddenly stop and almost all in unison kind of look on down <laughs> at curtain. And they crawl underneath your jacket. <laughs> no. oh, that's terrible. What is going on with like? Get out of here, you little shits! You're gonna have so much rabies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what nope. he's gonna do? You he's feel, just gonna. You feel your jacket like vibrating. <laughs> hey, look at. He's just like. Hey. hey, look at it this way, Jack. You'll make a fortune on bat guano. Uh -huh. Oh jeez! No, <laughs> fuck that noise. <laughs> but no, he's gonna do something stupid. Jack's just gonna seeing that these fuckers are starting to crawl into his jacket. He's just like, ah, no, fuck that. He's just gonna literally just make a dive bomb for the ground and just curl in his wings to increase his speed to try to like shake them off of him. Oh god. Uh, but me. before he hits the ground, he'll open up his wings like whoosh, to uh, break his landing. Jack, roll a roll me a fly check. Here goes nothing. That's eh, better. Sixteen. Not All righty then. As you tuck in your wings and you start to go full Peregrine Falcon, diving on down curtain as you are kind of watch or stowing your gun back away you hear this little voice off behind you 
Hey, mister. You won't by chance see my bites, have you? Turn! God! Turn around and look at the individual who seems to be talking to me. It's a tiny little kid uh, with what, holding what looks like a red fan, like a little red pinwheel. Oh, you know, bat, small, fluffy. What? What is he wearing? He looks uh, like one of the villagers. He's just wearing simple clothing. Just has a red pinwheel. <laughs> hey, hello there. You claim these bats is yours? I mean, yeah, but. We What's with the falling guy? And Jack, as you... You're not used to doing the whole peregrine falcon dive, but you get close enough, and you kind of, like, shake a bunch of them loose from your jacket as they go fluttering away. Hey! That man's pocketing my bats! To be fair, they... Did come on him onto him first. Well, none of them are Ivan dead, so that's a good thing. I love to mention that Ivan is still smoking the belt, not knowing what's going on. Yeah, Ivan, you just see Jack just do a dive bomb straight towards you, and as he barely misses the ground, just a bunch of bats come fluttering on out. Some of them managed to take wing and just kind of flutter away. A few of them hit the ground and just kind of stumble around. You hear the little screechy noises as they right themselves. It kind of just meander away. <laughs> Damn little gremlins. I hate this goddamn planet. <laughs> Sounding very hyper-aggressive. Would you mind recalling your bats? Just so that they quit attacking my friend. Oh, don't worry, they don't attack. And you see him take his little pinwheel, and he blows into a little straw that's in the back of it, and you see the pinwheel spin, and it lets out this little humming noise. Jack, you begin to feel your jacket, like, just absolutely churn as these little boogers begin to drop out <laughs> and take flight over to where Curtain is. Jack turning into the Scooby-Doo intro. Mm. <sighs> There's like several hundred of them coming out of your jacket in your pockets. No. I fucking I god I'll, damn it, stupid little shit! I guess I'll snuff out the pelt. Add one burnt goat pelt. <laughs> okay. Now watch as this ends up becoming the saving grace at the very end of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> the goat pelt for for the final boss killer. <laughs> it's slightly charred, throws it. <laughs> hey, Jack, I figured are you out all right? that weakness. It's burnt goat pelt. <laughs> Jack, are you all right? Pissed off, but fine, I guess. I am going to check if he's like battered or bruised or anything. Deep breaths. Uh, Jack seems to be unharmed. Oh. Nauseated, but unharmed. Yeah. Covered in bat saliva, but unharmed. We can live with mild inconvenience. If he is actually like suffering a status condition, that I can tell. I would like to No, he, I, I, Storm didn't say anything so, uh, or DM me anything about any conditions, so nada. Jack looks he looks very miffed but he's fine. Does there seem to be any scratches or bites on him? No. I mean his jacket might maybe his jacket has I mean, a maybe on better. his jacket but he can repair that I that it's more meant to on your skin. Yeah, no. It Probably looks... like maybe like okay. a little, like a few surface scratches, but nothing like deep. It's just like, oh, it's like just like a little, like, well, it's like a little nick, but it's nothing like 
bleeding. Probably. Curtain, Nebo? A hazard. You watch as this swarm of bats flutters onto the ground and like like a little swarm of mice begin to kind of crawl their way up to this kid. Gregory, Joey, did you put the rest of him up to this? You know you're not supposed to be attacking visitors. You naughty little fuggers. Oh my god, this kid is Do a pigeon. I see is these? a pigeon man. Are, are, we, are we caught up to these people now? I could say so. Let's group up. <laughs> okay. Susan, you troll up. Were you the one who tempted all the men mats to do this? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Sorry about that. They can be cheeky little buggers sometimes. Well, hello there. What's your name? Let me see. My name is Des. My name is Desmond. Desmond. A charm to meet you. I'm Simon. These are my allies, and, uh... Hmm. That's a lot of bats you have there. How long have you had these pet bats? I mean, as long as I lived at the farm. They're kind of a staple of ours. Really? A staple? Yeah! They help with our number one export. And what's Wano. that? Fertilizer! Um. We got whole, we got whole buildings full of them. We scrape it up. We send it out to. Hmm. Uh, I don't really remember oh, where, but uh, yeah. Keep the town afloat. Well, I gotta admit, town seen a little better days, but uh, all right. Sense motive. Go ahead. <laughs> I have a question. How old is this child? Oh, oh no. Child looks to be like 10. Maybe oh, 11. Uh, I have oh. a question. Go ahead, Kit. Does this kid look as pale as as the farmers, or does he look more pale? He looks just as pale as everyone else. Okay. So these little bugger vampire bats are just regular ass vampire bats. They're just tiny annoyances. They're not annoyances. They're lovely. <laughs> Above game. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm omni narrative. From beyond the veil. <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, no. uh, uh, what was your name again? I'm terribly bad with names. Desmond. The name's Desmond, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Desmond. Um, so did you grow up around here your whole life? It did I did, sir. Born right in the barn I was. It's an interesting accent you have for here in a ma <laughs> over here across the pond. <laughs> Moffat, I believe we're foreigners. That makes logical sense. Do you remember where they're from? You see him go to... He raises up his finger as if the answer is like... Sorry, I don't quite, question. I don't quite remember. Huh. I know me dad told me once. I, I'm well. sorry, dumb question. What's the name of this town? Flittermouse. Well, things slip the mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've basically confirmed that not only, like, this whole place is afflicted with that memory loss bullshit, where they don't know anything outside the town. Inside the town, they know every nook and cranny. And anybody who tries to remember the inside of this place doesn't remember it. I was, that's what we figured out. 
asked, say Desmond, where would you say about the center of town? Center of town? Uh, I don't know. We kind of all just congregate around the river, I guess. I mean, if you want, yeah, if you want, like town. the main, like the main place in town. I mean, that's right across the river. Me and right. Jack asked about a shop nearby. You all knew the town. Yes. Passing through. Hmm. Haven't got many visitors recently. Good to see some new faces around here. Really? Did you get visitors before? Uh, I think so. Hmm. You see. Uh, mm. Hey, well... Desmond, do you mind keeping your bats from attacking me? I'm trying to do some aerial... Reconnaissance? Oh, yes, reconnaissance for my allies here. I'll do my best, sir. I do apologize. They get so excited when they see new people. Um, <laughs> you little buggers. I, mm. I, I think they're kind of cute. I have two questions. One out of character and one in character. Go on. Uh... Is this map accurate? So is that little, like, island kind of area, is that actually in this map or no? Yes. Uh, I will actually ask Desmond. Uh, Desmond, question. Yes, sir? Is there, is there any significance to that little, uh, island in the river? You mean that one? Yes. I mean... Not really. I mean, it's kind of where we like to hang out and go fishing. There's a good tire swing on there. Mm, I see. <laughs> I'm gonna go fly around now, see if I can find what I was looking for initially. Good luck. Remember to look for the middle. Hmm. And he's just gonna take off into the sky. I'm just curious, does this town have a well? I mean, we got plenty of them. We got a lot of underground aquifers around here. It makes for good farming. Any of them really old? Oh, We're oh. a fan of really old wells. <laughs> uh, let me see if he knows. Uh... I mean, I guess they're... I guess they're old. I mean, some of them are probably about as old as the town, but... Yeah. But Dawson... Any. My father says I'm not supposed to get near him because kids keep falling down in him. <laughs> but that's not all the kids, that's just stupid Louie. <laughs> Jimmy, you're all down the well again! I mean, if you like, I can I can take you to the town center. I'm just about to head that way myself. I got to get the little buggers into the corral pen. I mean, good a place to check out the any? Looks no, at everybody else. Yeah, yeah, get a long little batsy. I'd love to meet your parents if we could. Make sure you get home safely. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you see him blow on his little whistle inside of his pinwheel and all the bats just kind of stare at the spinning red uh, leaves on it as he kind of leads them like the Pied Piper uh, through town and they, they don't fly they actually kind of hop after or scurry after him Aww. like a bunch of little ducks yeah <laughs> like a little like a bunch of little duckies can I roll anything to see what he is blowing into exactly? Go ahead. Or like what that device might be. 
Knowledge of nature? Oh, I thought engineering, but okay. Uh, I was thinking arcane, but okay. <laughs> oh god, natural one. That one. Is Rip. Ivan, Man. this kid is absolutely using magic. There is no other way he could be commanding <laughs> bats. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> In fact, only the most powerful of nature's sorcerers could possibly wield this sort of power. <laughs> Excellent. He is the bat romancer. The bat romancer. <laughs> uh, God, that's so dumb. <laughs> I wonder how well this kid would fight against a cicada king. <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> and as he, he leads you guys across the bridge through town, still playing his little his little f musical instrument to kind of keep the bats in order. Wait, and that's why there's see. no cicadas here! The bats have taken over the cicadas! I'll tell you what, Ooh, bats... vampire bags. Bats don't eat bugs, but... Actually, yes, they do. Do they? Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I thought it was mostly okay. a blood thing. I mean, these little boogers can eat bugs, but we just leave that for the bigger ones. Bigger bats? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want to see him? Uh, uh, I will yell out to Jack. Uh, Jack, be careful. There is apparently bigger bats out there. There's always a bigger bat. They'll spread their wings for dominance. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's how I get them under control is I get a cape and I spread out the cape and they let them <laughs> I let them know I'm the alpha. And he Would leads you bat boy. And he leads you guys on over to these barns. These four along here. And that's exactly what they are. They're these giant barns that even from the outside, you can hear rustling in there. And he throws open one of the doors and he walks on in with his with his little musical instrument, leading his little horde on in there. And the place absolutely reeks of just of fecal matter. You take one step, or actually, do you take a step into the barn? No. Nope. Okay. You see the kid kind of take a shovel or take like a little plow and kind of make himself a path. All right, you naughty, you naughty little wingies. You get up and you get up until you roost. They must have like no mosquitoes here. As you say, that I'm, mosquito flies up to you. <laughs> Let me see if I can get one of the bigger ones down. Jeffrey! I smoke at it and it drops dead. Jeffrey! I see you hiding in the corner there. You come down and say hi. Why am I waiting for... And for you hear this... Yeah, man-sized bat. As a dire bat drops from the ceiling oh, God. and lands on Desmond, and Desmond falls to the ground. That's a big mm -hmm. bat. <laughs> this is a dire bat. All right, get. All right, 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 right. They big. And you see him um, kind of begin to shove this thing off him like a Bernard. That won't get off its owner. And you see his little legs kind of strain as he's lifting this thing. And this bat begins to kind of reposition itself as Grit, as Desmond's standing up. And it just it like hangs on his back like a backpack. A backpack that's taller than he is. <laughs> a backpack bat. It's a backpack. This is Gregory. He's the one I look after. He's also the biggest producer. I bet. 
I am terrified to think of what his diet is. Uh, whatever he catches at night. It's usually pretty clean. I mean, he just eats bugs. That's and a lot a, of bugs. And other stuff. I mean, occasionally we find some fish bones in there, but, uh... You want to pet him? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Be, be like, be like, that's one off the bucket list. <laughs> Definitely uh, answers my question of why they didn't pick, you know, any other animal to produce fertilizer. Of course, if you have them as big as chickens, then... <laughs> Uh, no, it's bigger than the kid. <laughs> yeah, this thing's fucking. This thing is like a Great Dane, except a bat. <laughs> oh, so about the size of a condor. Okay, shit. Yeah, that'll do it. Scooches closer cautiously. Yeah, if they're big as fucking the biggest birds out there, Jesus, that that's a lot of shit. <laughs> it looks like a oh, giant yeah. flying fox. I'm gonna pet its ear. <laughs> it's soft. I give it, it ear scratches. Doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> Probably well trained. If it's the their one of their pride and joys. The entire town's built around him, you know. That and farming. Well, when you can supply your own high-quality fertilizer. Hmm? And probably eliminate most pest insects. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least we can... Ugh. At least we can eliminate the little buggies. The reason why the crops aren't doing so great this year, but, uh... You know. One step down. One step forward. I'm sure you folks will... pull through. Yeah. Have the trouble with the bugs been uh, a, more than normal? A lot? Or? Not really. I mean, despite the fact that we keep them down pretty good, the crops still aren't doing super great. But it's because it's the lack of sunlight. <laughs> Well, Medor says that it just takes a little bit of elbow grease and a few good prayers to the Lord. It will get on through. You're a you're a fat boy, aren't you, Gregory? Yes, you are. You're a fat. What was that? Hmm? What was that? That curtain said. Oh, that's just saying. an admirable attitude to have towards the situation. <laughs> That's all we got right now. <coughs> yeah. mm. Well, I'm probably going to head to the shop. You go right ahead, mister. We appreciate the business here. Uh, and you see him take this... I can't... Try to okay. pull this bat off his, uh, his back, and it just kind of... Like a floppy Labrador just kind of like falls off its weight and he's like you stop that and he tries to put it up into like a little little like pin on the side of the wall you, you know you're not supposed to be doing this so f I can't lift you with me little arms so I'm gonna be dragging you around in a in a wagon what do all the other bats think Gregory the fat bat. <laughs> and you see him kind of dust his hands off and as he steps out of the barn he scrapes his shoe off on a little rock that's next to the entrance. <laughs> you don't ever want to bring a match in there because trust me that place will go up like a firestorm. I bet. <laughs> All right. And Jack, I remember you were up and flying. Mm-hmm. All right. You wanting to roll perception check just to see 
What all you can see? Well, to go along with the theory brought about by what information he's told the others and what information that they've gathered thus far, he's going to be going up and down the river, uh, starting at one edge of the dome and going basically following the river until he gets the other edge of the dome. Okay. And also looking into the lake for what could be the entrance to a shadow vault. All right. I'm going to have you roll a perception check real quick. I will give you this little detail for free. This dome is massive. It extends out a good ways away from uh, the town. The town. And it I, is. I had a feeling. And it is pretty high up. Um, I mean, he's not flying too terribly high. He's only flying like about a hundred, about now fifty feet above, uh, like above the tree line, mm-hmm. but about fifty feet up from the water's edge. And you, there's not really a physical like barrier keeping you from getting out, but as you kind of hit its edge. You just feel it in the back of your skull, that that sensation of just forgetfulness beginning to sweep <sighs> through your, your synapses. He's just going to recoil back a bit till he gets away from it, staying within the dome. He knows it's not physical. He just couldn't exactly get a good look at it. And as you are kind of, like, looking on out, you can see the sun, like, where it is up overhead. But it's almost like a lens. Any light that comes on through is just twilight. He just rubs his chin. I wonder if it becomes night. Mm -hmm. Reality is a day in here. Perhaps time is reversed. Hmm. A theory to check out later. And he'll start scouting the uh, river, so I'll roll the, that perception check for you. Sixteen? Let me see what you see around town. Plenty of farms. Uh, You see what could basically be described as a town square right here. Uh Um, What else? Plenty of farmland. You do see animal, like wood, wild animals kind of roaming here around uh, the wooded areas. Um, And yeah, on Mm -hmm. this little island right in the middle here, um, looks like a nice little fishing spot. You actually see some kids kind of having fun on the island, taking a jump into the river. Some of them using a big old tire swing. Mm-hmm. Other than that, that checks yeah. out. just kind of a humble little town. Okay, so he doesn't see anything in the river? No. Okay, he'll start heading over to the lake and do a check over there too with a 16 that was his next you spot a single salmon <laughs> <laughs> all right uh do you want me to re-roll for the lake uh yeah go ahead 23 better it is as you're kind of swooping on over and you see some people pulling fish from this pond it looks like a big old like bass lake Ah, bass catfish fish breeding ground. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <sighs> why they keep it separate? They probably secluded it, filled in the land. This was probably a part of the river at one point or another. If I had to hazard, mm. well, that's slightly aggravating. Well, time to meet up with the rest of them. And I'll just probably circle around until he spots one of the others. Okay. That makes Eventually sense. comes in and lands with the main crew over here. 
I'm just. Des Desmond is closing up the barn by now. <sighs> hey, you well, must be about was... mm, Looks mildly interested. Oh. Yep, his name was Gregory. Hmm. Interesting. Folds in his wings. While my scouting didn't exactly pay off to, well, what I initially had thought was in, hidden either in the river or in the lake, doesn't seem to be there. So, if we're going off of the standard issue, looking down a well, well... Well, we're gonna we have to check every single one. Wells. At this point, we might as well just check. Mm. Ask around. And worth a shot. Was... Ask around and see if there was anything here before the town was built. He'll also make a uh, a sort of a sort of like using his hands to make like a dome shape like gesture that thing seems to cause a lot of issue I'd like to potentially stay up beyond dark to see if my theory is correct on something Here we go. Mm. I mean, if dark ever comes. Okay. Well, I saw the other side and it was still light out. Yeah, you guys got here around like afternoon. Man, it's like what? The Wh what time was it when I checked? Uh, Looking through the dome. Looked like it was still around afternoon time, maybe a few hours later. Because you guys have been milling it's around here for a little while. It's probably about maybe three or four hours ish. One, one look at the townsfolk. One look at it, representatives of the townsfolk and the state of their crops. I'm not expecting to see daylight. It's just a th theory that when of mine since it's day out there and twilight in here he's saying this in a hush tone just in like a group huddle basically my theory is that if it's night out there it might be day in here and because they're all asleep they can't exactly keep an eye on their crops and so either the woodland animals that I saw roaming around are either eating them or they can't take proper care of the crops during the quote unquote night time and so they're not giving profitable harvests due to the makes the dome freaking gesture again with his hands. I mean, we came in here and it's twilight. Everyone's pale as a ghost and the crops are failing from no perceivable issue other than potentially the lack of photosynthesis. I think this is maybe a lack of light issue. <laughs> I just have a, a just a hunch about it potentially I mean there has to be some reason why that makes dome gesture is here we thought initially it was a shadow vault but there's no signs of one unless we look inside the wells I mean we barely which means here, there's man. something else here they're shadow vaults they're going to be hitting the shit <laughs> 
with me or what? He just shrugs. Like, what, what else do you think it would be? Uh, it is some sort of mimetic hazard so that is making everybody forget this place is here and keeping everything in perpetual darkness. Also keeping Anatar out, which is cool. Yes, and he wants in. So, whatever he wants in here is most likely uh, obviously related to the crystals that are incredibly dangerous. Spear shards, they're not crystals. Whatever. Yeah, Chuck. <laughs> I, regardless, they're dangerous, and he wants them, so most likely there's one he just d- makes a broad, just wide sweeping range to like behold the area. There's one here creating that points upwards towards the top of the dome. Yeah, that's an option. I mean, just because you looked doesn't mean there's nothing. I mean, to be fair, it could be inside of one of these homes and we're just not seeing. It. it could be buried underneath the ground we wouldn't even know yeah that's why I want to ask around about maybe things that were here before the town was here if there's like an ancient well or a cave or some shit I don't know he rubs his chin um is the kid still around uh, yes, he is. He's just kind of watching you guys curiously huddle. Um, I kind of want to get the Nevo real quick, is that, if that's all right. Well, yeah, that's speaking fine. of Desmond, uh, I'm going to uh, turn to him. If, oh, yeah, the uh, kid did go before oh. me, actually. I didn't want to point that out, so I'll leave that to him. Okay. Uh, kid? Ivan? Uh, well, I'm going to the store, and I also want to ask a question. Okay. When we entered the town, did it seem the temperature was different here? Like if it was colder here due to lack of sunlight? It did feel a little chillier here. Interesting. So apparently what is causing this is causing temperatures to drop as well. Mm, okay. Because the sunlight isn't entering. Yeah. At least well, I didn't night. know if like... I didn't know if it was... So it's not just it's, an illusion, but the light being captured. Yes. Also, I, I asked because I didn't know if this was like... Because it's magic, it, there's ju- it still somehow remained the same temperature. But it's good to know that this place is slightly colder than the outside. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go into the store. Okay. It's um, a tiny little shop. They got basic little wares, a lot of farming equipment, uh, stuff like that. Oh, wait a minute. They They also, uh, lots of food, lots of uh, good old Amish meals, produce. So wait, there's, there's a lot of food here, yet the crops are not. Or or at least preservatives, like stuff in jars. Okay, okay. That's what I meant to say. That makes a lot more sense. Uh... Jerky any, and lots of preservatives. Yeah, are there any tents? Uh, da, 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 da. I will roll and I will see if they got tents. There it is. Okay. Me. Uh, yeah, it looks like they got a small supply of tents for hunters. How many are there? I will roll. There are two tents. Okay, that's going to be a bother for us. Uh, let me just make sure about something with our... Okay, we do have bedroll. We just need, like, maybe a tent or two. I guess I'll buy two tents, and I will ask the shopkeep, are there any places of interest around here? Let me look up the price of tents real quick. Small. Uh, I can look it up as well. Small. No, not Pathfinder car. Adventuring gear. Oh my god. Here it is. Uh, 
tents are... It is a small uh, tent, so they're going to be $1 each. Okay, I'll pay $2 for it. <laughs> and I will, I will also ask the shopkeep... Uh, any places... Any places that we should visit here? Me and my friend are staying here. Any places that you should visit here? I mean... It's a small town, for sure. Not a lot going on here. Is there, like, a town of this... Or, eh, a town of this map? Like, in this area? Mm, no. They don't, uh -huh. they don't sell maps of this area. As far as they're concerned, all the natives living here already know the area. So maps are just not a big seller. Mm. Huh? I mean... I mean, we occasionally get people coming and looking at our windmills, and, uh... Oh my god, my, my phone alarm's going off, sorry. <laughs> Dismiss that. <laughs> that was my alarm for Raid Shadow Legends, not sponsored. <laughs> and this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Would you also like some Mountain Dew in Doritos? Uh. <laughs> did this. Did this building right here seem. Like, was there anything odd about this building? Uh, do you, do you ask her? <laughs> sure. I'll ask. I'll ask her what a what's going on with, like, the kind of larger-looking building next door. That's the town hall. That's where Ooh. we hold meetings, and and the mayor does the legislature, and uh, it, it also serves as the church. Not. Uh, I guess I'll also ask about this one right here. Uh, what about the that other house, that, or that building that's, uh, kind of near the lake. That's, uh... Let me see... Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, that that's, kinda... that's Boulder Sorry. Wright's cabin. That's where we do most of the smithing. We get the horses shoot there. You know, it's... Um... Uh, and sorry for all the questions. No, no, I don't mind the questions, love. And is there anything here that was built before this uh, lovely town was made? Uh, no, I'm not too sure on that. I'm not originally from the town here myself. Been oh. settled on in here with my husband and. Just raising our son here. I mean, if you want, if you want to talk uh, town, if you want to talk town history, you'd probably go talk to the mayor or the priest. He's been here a while. And how long have you been in this town? Uh, let me see here. But about twelve years now. It's been a good home. We had to get out from across the seas. Our, t our home got bombed Oof. during the war. So I uh, figured we'd pack up and move to uh, some place a little quieter. I see. Well, uh, thank you. I'll be taking the tent and heading off. Oh, have a good day, dear. Walk off with two tents, uh, back to the group. Nevo. Uh, I turn to Desmond and I say, How high have your bets flown before? I mean, pretty far up there. We let, I, we let them loose I, every night and they, uh, they just kind of flutter on off. Can I see how high they fly? Can you give me an example? <laughs> an example? Yeah. I mean... Just trust me on this. I will... 
I, I mean, I could try to release them. They usually only like to fly around at night. The little I ones, a- the little ones like to go after people, though. They get excited. Why not we try sending the big one then? All right. You see him open up the gr- the barn again, and that smell just wafts on out, heads on in, and you hear this this dragging noise as you see him bring Gregory out. His little feet just kind of dragging against the floor. Ah, uh, well, man, I'm better at making them come back than I am making them head on out. Ah. Uh, how do I do this again? And he kind of just gently, like, shakes Gregory. And Gregory's head just kind of flops back and looks at him. Um. Hold on. Let me roll my animal handling. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> You see him struggle to lift Gregory up, and Gregory kind of, like, holds out his arms, his wings, like he's about to take off, and he's like, all right, go at it, Gregory, and he lets go, and Gregory just falls to the ground. (laughs) Gregory just kind of lies there looking at all of you, like pets. Oh, buddy. (laughs) That is a big bat. Let me try. Oh, I didn't do much better. Gregory begins to climb on you like a sloth. <laughs> you know what? For fucking shits and giggles. Can Jack Animal handle? Probably not. This is a flat modifier. Here goes balls to the wall. Eh. It's alright. That's an 11. You kind of, like, unfold your wings, and you're like, yes, fly! And Gregory just kind of just lazily, like, opens up his arms and just kind of flaps a little before going back to hanging on Nevo. Like I said, I usually... They're they're nocturnal. Mm. This plan might have to wait until later, then. What is this plan exactly, Nevo? To see if animals are affected by this memory spell, or whatever it's going on. Don't you go casting memory spells on my pets. <laughs> oh, it's not me. I mean, wouldn't you have to be able to ask it? How else can you tell if a bat forgot? I think he might be onto something. But we can't exactly check per se hey I'm back with the tent well I could check with buddy technically speaking probably a better bet how far away is like where uh Jack was like when he started to feel like he had to go back then oh Mm, I have an idea if you tell if you tell him the theory whoops that's the wrong there we go uh, guys, I have an idea if you tell yeah, Ivan the theory. Yeah. We heard you. I, I guess Ivan would be returning at this point. Yeah. Oh, good, you're back. Any luck on getting tents? There are only two. I mean, so he's I carrying, no. I'm assuming he's carrying two tents. <laughs> Just, Which oh, good, you're back with the tents. Well, what is going on? Uh, we're trying to see if animals are affected by the memory spell. How are you going to do that? Well, yeah. I was going to try to send one of the bats up to see if it would, like, turn back before it hit the barrier. Probably just going to go with Buddy, though. Wait, how are you going to communicate with them? Well, I can see through Buddy, but, you know... Oh, wait, I have an idea! I bring up Vladimir. One of you and I can talk to each other. Okay, why don't you put him on Buddy 
and I'll tie a rope to them so they stick together. <laughs> like a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> oh please, my god. Please this put is the, the turtle on idea. top of the head of the dog. Nah, nah, nah. I have like a better a idea. I, I, I have a better idea. <laughs> No, the turtle needs to be a hat. <laughs> no, I, I, I have another idea with Buddy Bonesley. It's glue. I, I put... <laughs> is Buddy Bonesley a skeleton or a wolf at this point? He better a skeleton. Be a wolf. He's a wolf. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was a skeleton, so my idea won't work. What? I, what? I know what he's talking about. He's going to put him in the inside. Yeah, I was gonna put him in the rib cage. The rib cage. You can't spread your wings in a rib cage. Well, if you split them through, do what? And it's more like you're wearing him like oh. armor. You know what? I have an idea. <laughs> I put the turtle on Jack's head. The, I was gonna say. Oh, the, blink, blink. Oh yeah, Vladimir. Just picks up the turtle up off of his. I could just carry him. <laughs> Either way works. He likes flying. Mm, sure, whatever. Hey. Fly straight up. Hey. <laughs> Make sure you're holding your weapon in your hands. Yeah, he's just gonna. The whole like basically like football carry Vladimir in one, uh, <laughs> one, one arm and just so lazily hold like Excalibur <laughs> freaking hold sword <laughs> aloft while you're flying in a turtle underneath uh, your arm. Uh, yes, a turtle aloft. All right, no turtles getting football carried. I'm going to call a quick five-minute bio break right now so yeah. I can refill my drink as I process this magnificent sight. We need to uh, cat, cat, you have to make a doodle of Jack carrying Vladimir to make a, yeah. uh, like, mid-flight with, like, the sword. This, this sword. level of shenaniganery, we need Michelangelo. <laughs> we need this on the Sistine Chapel of can Jack, I, I full angelic beauty. What a, fl a sword in one hand and a turtle in the other. Why, why do I imagine he's doing the Statue of Liberty pose right now? Do, 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 do. I mean, almost. How much are we taking around in this session? Yes. Oh, so, uh, Venom, have you looked at the statistics that I've given the creature so far? No, I've not looked at it since you posted it. I don't know if we'll have enough time during bio break. I'll, I'll look at it afterwards. I'll give you feedback probably later, okay. if not at the latest tomorrow. Maybe. No real, I don't know. There's, no, there's just basic stats and a frightful presence on it right now. Mm. Time to parse. But yeah. Uh, boy. No real damage and stuff like that. I mean, that that's fine for now. But if it's gonna be like a like, like an enemy you're supposed to be fighting, then. It probably needs some sort of attack. Yeah, later down the line, I'm gonna give it attacks. Mm, yeah. But I just found a picture, and it, I thought it looked cool, uh, and wanted to make a creature out of it. Hmm. I mean, from what I briefly looked at it, it looked a lot bigger than a human. I. I I made it a huge size creature. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought it looked abnormally big, so that, that size category fits. Probably would classify as an undead. I made an apparition. That would also make sense. <laughs> I 
Why not both <laughs> undead and aberration? Because you can't really do double types. Because mm. a zombie Fair. can turn an undead, not an aberration. Whatever. Whew. I can see Ugh. like a unique ability oh, no. with its like cage happening. Ugh. I was like a of making one of once per cage. day sort of ability. Uh, I was thinking like the attack with the cage would also cause like a restraint condition. Mm, yeah, sort of, like a, sort of like a swallow effect. Yeah, that that was my idea when I initially saw it. I'm like, that could be interesting where the creature could capture something it's fighting and then use the, like damage the creature as it damages another creature by yeah, thrashing like around the cage. cage and its cage being it's like one of its quote unquote weapons kind of like a flail. Yeah. Because that's basically what it looks like. I I just thought the picture looked cool. Definitely make, makes sense. I would definitely probably make it immune to being frightened, though. I, I was thinking that as well. I, I think the condition immunity that I have, uh, blinded, charmed, exhaustion, and petrified makes sense for it. Me, that makes a lot of sense for a creature of that caliber. But yeah, other than that, I can't really think of too much. Besides a cage attack, maybe like a punch, like an unarmed strike, uh, or I, like a. I'm thinking of giving it like claw a attack. Hmm. One cage to two claws and a and a sword strike or the fuck is the sword s strike coming from it, from the sword that it's carrying mm. do you not see the sword I'm not looking at a picture right now so there's nothing better for your voice oh, than, yeah. recording than chocolate milk mm. yeah that yeah, the multi attacks would make logical sense. There we go. You'd probably have an uh, abnormally high con and strength modifier. A terrible dex. Uh, its stats currently are 26 strength, 10 dex, 22 con, 14 int, 13 mm. wisdom, and 10 charisma. Man, yeah, that, that, that's pretty solid already. With its I don't HP think it being, needs much more. Its HP is 18d12 plus 108, so 225. All right. uh, and it's immune to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. All right, man. That, we all back. That would make logical sense. Hey. Sorry. We got Cat. We got no. Kit. We got Jack. Gypsy, you back? I'm back. Gypsy's back. Yeah. Tom? E. Dragon? I'm back. Yep, just got done changing my laundry, so I am A-OK. -okay. There we go. Yay. All, All right. right. That. All right. There we go. Okay. Reset timer. There we go. I will mention to the okay. others... I will mention to the others as Jack is doing his thing. By the way, I've noticed something while we got in here. It's a lot cooler than it is. It's a bit cooler in here than it is compared to outside. So I don't think the Domorin is merely an illusion. Makes sense. Hmm. I mean, if it was just an illusion, it wouldn't be keeping in its heart, would it? <laughs> Question. How colder is it compared compared to when we were outside? 
about as cool as it would usually be around, like, evening, right when the sun is setting over the horizon. Okay. Because I was curious if, due to how cold it is, if I can tell how long this barrier may have been up. No, not really. I'm... I think it's time we took him closer oh, inspection I'd... around town. Uh, by the way, uh... Near the shop is a, uh, town hall. I suggest maybe we look into there. Mm -hmm. Remember. Might, might hold the records of this town. These vaults were disguised as ordinary objects when possible. Like a simple well. Jack? I'm going to... Oh, good. I'm going to pull out uh, my goggles. <gasps> do -do 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 -do. Put them on. And we are going to discern... Um, we are going to start looking for um, magical stuff. Okay. We're, we are going to... I am going to kind of comb... Take a stroll around and comb the... City for magical auras. Okay. Well, let me jump on over to Jack real quick as he is flying towards the heavens, sword and turtle aloft. And lo, Ezekiel did behold. <laughs> well, I don't know what he, he wanted me to do with you. He says, looking at the turtle. Oh, here goes nothing. As Just sticks the turtle into the barrier. As you are flying, this turtle is like it's doing little doggy paddles with its feet. Obviously enamored by your flying. And as you... I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mine turtle. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let Star. me see here. Up, oh, add I, add a mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Storm question. <laughs> One second. I'm dealing with Jack. It actually does have to do with Jack bit. Alright. What is it? Uh -huh. When Ivan is put through the barrier, do I feel anything? Because we haven't we, you, you haven't let me describe what happens yet when he puts Sorry. him through the barrier. So Jack, as you are fluttering on up, sword and turtle in hand, as you begin to draw super close to the barrier, you begin to feel the, the dust blade actually begin to kind of jitter a little bit in your hand. And as you reach the top of this barrier, holding, I, or holding uh, Vladimir aloft, like like a, oh god, like a football player like diving for the field or diving for the uh, touchdown line. It's almost as if you smack right into something solid. What the fuck? <laughs> and you it's feel there. Going for and you feel uh, this an alley -alley and you feel this resistance against um <laughs> against the Vladimir, almost like he's getting pushed through, like, like gelatin. Mm. And there is a spark from the Dusk Blade as you smack against this invisible wall. Boop. Cut the barrier! And it almost feels like for Do a not. second as though somebody grabs onto your wrist and yanks you away. <gasps> I... He just pauses, floating there, staring upwards. He's gonna gently put Vladimir on his shoulder, like, <gasps> just give him a look, a sideways glance, like, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's just gonna put him in his pocket. <laughs> into, like, no, he, he'll put him into, like, one of the. the the, he'll put him into like one of the pockets in in in, in his jacket, so uh, he's, his head is hanging out. You go, you go to stick him in your pocket. And you're like, what the hell is in here? You pull out a bat. You just kind of toss it away and replace it with Vladimir. 
Yeah, I feel it's like how the fuck you used to get in here, you little shit. Ah! Congratulations, you swapped out Zubat for for Squirtle. Diddly dude. Anyways, he's gonna hold his dust blade and slowly poke the tip against the edge of the barrier. There is a flash of light and what almost sounds like a crack of thunder as the tip of this blade strikes the barrier or just pokes at the barrier and you just see sparks kind of jettison out from where it touched. Huh. It really does not like these then. Hmm. Well, time to do something absolutely stupid. Oh, no. You load the sword into your gun. <laughs> no. <laughs> you load the you gun, load the into, gun the into the sword. <laughs> it's a sword gun. It's a. It's the sword explosion. But no, he is going to take both hands onto Tinu and just make a very flash again. 18. 18. Um, I want everyone to roll perception real quick. Perception? Yeah. Oh, boy. Keep in mind this might actually do something because I have a I know. particular... Oh, oh my, allow um, Anatar to come in. Do I gain any bonus perception as I'm currently wearing a thing that lets me see magical auras? I will allow you to roll twice and take the better. In new bricks. Ah! What does in new bricks do? Nope. In I don't know his shit. Uh, button. 23. Nothing. <laughs> Nineteen, twenty-three, four. Ivan, you are too distracted. Try to like show everyone your little tents and everything. Nevo, I'll say, see this. And which one did you have? Inabricks. I had Inabricks, which slices through metal. They're allowing it to phase through metal. I don't know if that's going to help here. Let me see here. Ah, uh, yes. This barrier is made out of 95% aluminium. Hey, I have it's no res- idea if that's going to matter or not. <laughs> Those of you who rolled above a 10, you hear the sound of thunder up above you and a flash of what feels like for the first time since you've wandered into town, something that feels like sunlight kind of glance or glinting against your skin as you guys kind of look up and you see Anatar. No. You see (laughs) just this flash of light that slowly returns the twilight and you see Jack fluttering around. Jack, you are now blind (laughs) for one one minute. Well, I knew that was stupid. Uh, Simon, as you are glancing around Ooh. with your goggles, and you're seeing, it's like it's like staring into the sun after looking through night vision goggles, and you see this ripple almost go across the sky, and for the briefest of instant, you actually see a little hole kind of pop up in the barrier before it slowly refor- reseals itself. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, shit. How far up into the air is he? A couple hundred feet. A couple hundred feet. Let me check the range on my illusions. Uh, Illusion... 
And as you are kind of watching this thing close on back up, you see this little... <laughs> if, if I can, I want to try to throw a, a voice near him that's just Simon's voice saying, stop doing that now. But I want to see if I have the range to do that. Okay. And I'll say as you kind of watch this little hole kind of close on back up, you see this little glimmer as Let across the see. dome is this very brief almost magical sigils of the moon, the stars, of eclipses, just kind of ornately designed around this this barrier, just kind of slowly fade away. Are they, are they centered on a specific point in the dome? From, looks like right at the point where he, he stabbeth at the veil. Okay, okay. And when it sealed itself up, it was just this... I have a bit of a meta question. And Simon is the only one who sees this. Mm. Sees these particular... But I have a quick question. Go ahead. Do they look familiar, like the symbols? You don't see the symbols. uh, Like I said, only only Simon saw these, because he's got his goggles on. Uh, Do I recognize those from my dream? From Uh, the... Or from the previous Shadow Vault? You do, actually. I was gonna ask if they look similar to to the ones at the prison. Uh, no, I no, I don't. Uh. I can't warn him. Well, maybe if I'm very loud. What is close range? 25 feet plus 5 feet per two levels. When it comes to illusions, I progress as a full caster. So I'm 5. So that would be 50 feet. 50 feet up in the air, someone yelling at you. And he's about 150, 200? Yeah. No, he won't. He, he won't. It, it won't make an appreciable difference. But you know what? I'd be an idiot not to try. So I look up, and as far as I can reach, I concentrate a little moat of my my energy, my tricky illusion energy, and I make a little ball of 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 sound and it just bursts in a cone up in that direction towards him and it's just a stop now and the entire village stops because they thought they heard the voice of god yeah (laughs) my lord (laughs) (laughs) you feather headed idiot Jack, you can hear what sounds like Simon shouting out at you, but it is just like a white void surrounding you. <laughs> He'll just shake his head as his vision would eventually clear over the next hot minute. <laughs> and then provided, and now I'm not willing to look directly up because I don't want to be blinded myself, but provided I don't hear another thunderous crack in the next 30 seconds, I <laughs> I kind of like, okay, he got the message and go back to my... Doing your Simon things. Doing my scouting. But what happened? <laughs> Are any of you, do any of you want to accompany me? If you can, I, I will find what I saw. I can I help. sort of imagining that Alex was just sort of trailing after him. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go. I'll go. Uh, and I'll ask Yeah, if you have I your own things to do, it's okay. But No, I, honestly, I could help you with this with my Arcana checks. Yeah, so I'm... So I, I throw that up in the air. You guys would hear it, too, because it was a very loud yelling. I look at you guys, and I say, Well, um... It seems our friend has seen what happens if we attempt to strike the barrier with our swords. As a matter of fact, it's effective. A tiny oh. hole was poked in the... 
Well, that's not something we want right now. No, no, it's not. I kindly advised him to halt his experimentations for the time being. Oh, I thought my tinnitus was acting up. <laughs> it is. You only rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've been in the air. It's, hey, it's not impossible. War to is to hell, old tinnitus. chap. War is all hell, old chap. I only know well enough. I mean, I wasn't in it, but yeah, you know. I, I, <laughs> well, my, anyway. character's, uh. my character spent most of his time in the air. It's not impossible that he wouldn't have tinnitus. Yeah, oh, no. shell shock. The propellers does and the loud, loud guns mounted on the tiny planes is not. Uh, you mean, cause lo hearing loss. Meanwhile, on the other side of the river is a one-armed man. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Oh, Jack, after recovering, his vision would slowly float back down to the ground. By the way, if you need help with those goggles, I could offer a hand. I don't, um, I don't think consider it if, if, if I run into any person. roadblock of of, of 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 a magical nature that I don't understand, I'll let you take a crack at it, old chap. He nods. Remember, I'd really rather avoid getting into the tussles of already been mm -hmm. seriously injured. Oh, are you on to that again? Well, I'm very unhappy. I, I thought, okay, one last, one last one. This will be a fun one. And then, oh, yes. and then one the fucking one. Sun King shows up. Well, you seemed pretty eager. Well, it sounded intriguing. I can't help it. I love old artifacts and antiquities and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your heart was simply so set on the whole retirement deal. It very much is. <laughs> As I take out my cane and walk. <laughs> Staring at your back. <laughs> Jack eventually lands. Well, uh, that I just work. Don't it was a theory. A dumb theory, but it worked. Did it though? Oh, do you do you land with us? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. So, Codron? Huh? Or Curtin? I I forget which one he likes to be called. No, oh, he because he he ditched his old identity. They're the made so up ones. So he goes by Codron. Oh, he goes by Codron. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. You were saying? Oh, n nothing. It's just keep, a, keep an eye out for bats and keep an eye out for things coming through holes in the shield now. I'm nervous. Well, from what Storm described, it sounded like it resealed itself. It did. Um, yeah, but now I know it can now. be... Now I know it has a weakness. Is there... You just see Anatar skittering of the side. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. No, no, no. I, no, because he was like resting or something. So like he gets out of bed and he's like, <gasps> no. Oh, um, does this town we have? Ant oh, we just God. see Anatar start to drip in through the crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come out. out. Bye, guys. I have he's a tape. He's not. A, he's not a goddamn Atlan. He's an ooze. I have a tape. The power imagine of Imagine the Jello. drama. Imagine the drama when he's like, "Behold, my great power!" And he lifts his spear up into the air, and then you hear. <laughs> Wait, what? And he looks up, and the, the sphere is still there. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> he'd probably still stab us with it. Yeah, he'd probably still kill us. Absolutely. <laughs> with spear alone, but yeah. He's stuck in there with the Amish. <laughs> 10,000 years. <laughs> Anatar scooping up 
Oh my god, that actually might be the easiest way to trap him, is in here. We just leave him in here. And a, and a tardy Amish king. <laughs> okay, so... Because he couldn't do jack shit in here if the barrier won't seal him in. So Good that's evening, actually brother. brilliant. Good evening, brother. <laughs> brother Anatar. Alright. Holy shit! Kinda... <laughs> <laughs> Kadra, you've got your hands up. Yeah, so. Does this town. I, de I actually do want my character to be keeping an eye out if anything suspicious does happen with the barrier. Is there a water tower or other kind of vantage point that he can sit at while everyone else. That figures Ooh. out either what we're doing for the night or any investigation. I think you might have your answer over here. Yeah, there is a there is a silo. big at what the oh, hell? What the heck? So, oh, you guys couldn't see it as I was drawing it. I I, I was drawing my route as I <laughs> scouted the town. Okay. <laughs> um, curtain that or Codger, to answer your question, yeah, there's a big old windmill. Off on the edge of town. Looks like it's got plenty of windows on it that you could use as a uh, as a sniper post. I'll let the party know that I'll be in there. If they hear me fire off a shot, that means something bad happened. If uh, and once we're settled in for the night, just have someone get me. Hmm. Sure. Is there a tree nearby the windmill? Uh, no. All the trees are kind of off near the edge of town. Oh, yeah. It looks like there's a couple of uh, older trees that are in this little middle area. Yeah. I'll then ask Jack for uh, Vladimir back. Just fishes him out oh, of my pocket the, along with is, the bat. Are you using a scale for this? Uh, like a five foot square is. No. No. Um, I'm just assuming that each house is. The. Uh, Probably about the same size as my apartment, so about 500 square feet. And it's great. That's incredibly useful metric for me and yeah. no one else. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, this map does not have any particular scales to it. How I was playing it was wherever, what square your character was in, it was kind of in like a rough area of where they are. Okay. Uh, if I ever take, if, like, if I would throw like up, if I would. 100 feet. Yeah, if I throw out any battle maps, those will be the size. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this way, is just for I, roaming. I, I didn't feel anything from Vladimir, correct? No. All of you. He looks like. Although, is Vladimir blinded? Was blind? Was Vladimir blinded? Oh, yeah. He was blinded. He looked like he saw the face of God. He just has <laughs> this turtle smile on his face. He's like, I was flying, Daddy. Just like the old days. Just like, just like when we gunned down the enemy. Never. No, the enemies. Well, since I wasn't there for any of it, because I went off to the south, uh, oh. I test my health thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, ninja it off. I didn't even see that. What you got? Yeah, what do you, uh, what do you got, fish boy? I'm... I'm going to tie Buddy to a rope. I don't know how long ropes are, generally speaking. It'll say in your uh, in your thing. It'll you be like 100. A 50 or 100. Yeah. We have a 50 foot rope. Uh, I'm going to walk as close to the, uh, like, as far as close to the, uh, like, barriers, like, when I start to feel it. And then as soon as I start to feel it, I'm going to start to send Buddy out further than where I'm standing. Like, see if he can get past the barrier without stopping. Alright, as Buddy begins to wander on off into... Let me see here, past where the barrier would be. He actually still has his sword. Yes. Let me see here. And as he makes it to this parameter of where the barrier would be, you begin to see the blade on his back begin to kind of jitter a little bit. And it's like he he just thumps right into a solid wall. So the sword stops mm. him from going through then. 
Is that what I'm? Is that what I'm putting together here? Oh God! I just made a realization. I'll let Come you off. decide that. All right, I'm gonna bring Buddy back, and I'm gonna take the sword, and I'm gonna send him out again to see. I'm gonna test this. All right. As he begins to wander on off, you feel the blade begin to vibrate in your hand, and as again, it's it's like he kind of thumps into a solid wall. Yep, that was my theory. Roll me an Arcana, Rurchik. Mm, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, where is it? Knowledge uh, Arcane. I haven't rolled in so long. Uh, I, I was sick oh, last there. week. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, theoretically, it could be it could be the sword or something that's keeping him from coming on out or getting out of here. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> All right, I'll make my way back since I don't got any more theories. Above game, I know I have a fucking faint idea of what the fuck happened, but until Nevo gives us information, I can't mm, say what my mind is thinking. Alright. Alex, you wander into the middle of town? That's just kind of. You what? I did it first. You did it first. Uh, uh, I meant a town hall. All right, Alex, it is kind of a wide open, kind of grassy knoll. It's got some old trees on it. Uh, looks like it's got a couple tables, like little park tables set out. About mm-hmm. it. There's old a guy trees. sleeping underneath one of them. Mm. I nudge him with my boot. <laughs> Yes. Are you, like, alive down there? Yes. You, uh... You live around here? Yes. <laughs> well, well, I like the sarcastic words. <laughs> you oh. got a name? Yes. <laughs> you, you're walking into these. You want to tell me? No. You first. Uh, uh, oh, he like finally it. said more than one word. He's like not believe- the figment of her imagination. I like to believe that this man only speaks in one word. Name's Jeb. <laughs> Jeb. Me to Jeb. What you doing? Sleeping. <laughs> I hate this. I love and hate this guy. It is my break. Oh, what do you do, Jeb? Farming. <laughs> <laughs> this is a running gag now. And how's that going? Poor. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> seems, seems to be the way it's going around here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. I'm counting now. That's fucking seven. Uh, you guys are so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> um. You uh, you lived here a long time, Job. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can't help it. It's so funny. It's so stupid. <laughs> Tell me, does it, it, does the sun shine? <laughs> it kind of is the sky blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. All right. Well, have it good, I guess, Jeb. 
Sure. I've never seen someone get up in an interrogation so easily. And you see him pull his <laughs> hat back. Bed. He pulls his hat back down over his face and goes back to sleep. Oh, you talked to, fa- to the famous farmer. Three word Jeff. <laughs> the magic word is tell me about loom. <laughs> mm. What? <laughs> mm. What? All right. Get that joke. Ivan. Uh, I, I will suggest to the other two that we maybe go to the town hall. Mia, Jack is probably going to make his way to the what looks to be the biggest building. Oh, so we're heading to the same. Here we go. Okay. All right. So. So yeah, I'm heading to the town hall if Simon and Jack are falling. Yep, I'll follow. Mm-hmm. Although I'm I'm generally tr- wanting to take the long way around. Search for Aura. I mean you can you can you can take the long way around, you can arrive later. Alright. As specifically I'm looking for <laughs> large objects that you could enter. Like a, a shed, uh, a well a, a windmill. Jack, or I, not Jack. Simon, I'll have you roll perception for you kind of wandering around town. I'm okay. waiting to learn to the shot of all some goofy goggles. <laughs> it's in a mold hole. It's in an outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's so in the shitter. <laughs> so, who wants to go in? This prep to the outhouse nope, shadow vault first. One. That one. That's a shame. <laughs> oh man, but you are. I tried to do it without being seen. So hold on. All right. Well, there's that. Jesus, what a nine! All right, as, <laughs> Simon, as you are wandering around town, trying to uh, kind of discern if you could find any auras or anything, your eye catches what appears to be a cicada sitting oh. on a window. And you duck into the shadows real quick. I found you. <laughs> oh, the yes. mythical you, this survivor. The cicada queen. <laughs> Finally, they will torment me no more. <laughs> and as you begin to walk through town, you duck and weave from shadows and from behind houses, trying to keep out of sight of this singular cicada that seems to keep popping up around town. Your spies are no match for me. (laughs) (laughs) They thought I was crazy. I'm not crazy. The cicadas are. The party will be pleased to hear of the news. I sneak attack the cicada. (laughs) All right. Uh... Alex, a cicada lands on your shoulder. It pulls out a small knife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't warn them in time. No. You've been shivved. We seriously need a one-shot session where we, where we meet the cicada king. All right. As Nevo, Ivan, and Jack, you guys wander on into the town hall. Uh, you see... The a figure, a short figure in white robes. Uh, looks like he's cleaning up a set of pews and tending to a, a big old podium that's in front of all of them. Points to two pews. Pew pew. You die. <laughs> Sorry. Nevo? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna huddle up the group real quick before we enter oh. in the building, actually. Uh, so I went to where we saw the barrier, or felt the barrier, I should say, and I tried to send Buddy out there with the sword, and uh, it seemed to stop him. So, like, I called him back and I took the sword, 
and it still seemed to stop him, even though I was holding the sword. I mean, I could have told you that earlier when I landed. Yeah. I had the oh, same well. issue when I was trying to put Vladimir through the portal. Or why through would the it affect, hole. Why would it affect Buddy when I'm holding the sword then? Well, mm -hmm. it happened the same way with me and Vladimir. I tried pushing him through the portal, or through the barrier portal, same fucking difference, and it was like as if it hit a solid surface. Uh, Ivan, I'll, I could let you roll a arcana check for this. Okay. Uh, Ooh, Ooh. 25. Buddy is essentially like a familiar. He is spiritually connected to Nevo. A lot like how uh, your turtle is spiritually connected to you. They're basically extensions of you. Well, as far as I didn't know, your skeleton is basically like a familiar, and familiars <laughs> are usually spiritually connected to the caster. Alright. So, what I have. That means Buddy and you share similar things. Even if he is not wielding the sword, he cannot pass through the barrier as easy. Does that mean we're going to have to sacrifice our swords to get out of here then? That was my test with striking the shield. To see if it could be affected, and it did. My guess is that we're going to have to destroy it together. I, I would suggest we not do that. Well, we're How else are we eventually. going to leave? By finding the vault first. But let's let's just look around the town a bit, and let's just go and do here first as he walks into the. Uh, town hall. It was my second error. Just by talking to the eldest people and trying to gather information. They've lived a lot. They've lived long enough. They might remember some important uh, information. I walk to the. I walk to uh, whoever seems to be in charge here. All right. Uh, you walk up to the only person who's in the room. That white-robed figure. It is a dwarf folk male, kind of an older gentleman and his most like outstanding trait is there is not a single hair on his body he has like, no, not even a beard? he has no beard no hair, no Rick, eyebrows, eyebrows no eyebrows and no eyelashes uh, oh, no. greetings oh. hello there what can uh, I do for you this fine day? Uh, I was curious if I could find any records on this town. Records? Yes. Don't no keep... Possibly. Hmm? Don't keep too many records around here except for word of mouth. Oh, you don't have any written documentations about, like, the finding of this town? I mean, not really, but I can give you the rundown of it. What's your name, young man? I'm about to talk to someone. Hmm. What's your oh. name? What's your name, young man? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my internet disconnected for a little bit. What'd you say? Oh, uh... This individual was telling you that there's no written records down here. It's all pretty much word of mouth and, uh... All kept in the brain. And he asked me who I am? Yeah. Ivan will give his, like, military salute and go, Ivan Boris Rovanov. Uh, fuck. I'm trying to remember what position we gave him. I know we wrote. Ah, here it is. Private Airman. Well, it's good to see you, young man. Good to see another soldier around here. I am Berwick the Sphinx. That's a hell of a name, me above game. Could you write that down, please? Into chat, please. Berwick. Uh, 
<laughs> Jack's going to look mildly impressive while standing beside uh, Ivan. Sphinx. Do you mind why you are called the Sphinx? Yeah, because I'm hairless like those Sphinx cats. <laughs> uh, what nickname? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate Are one, but, uh... Village? Oh, sorry. Unfortunate one, but, uh... You know? Are you the leader of this village? Oh, no, 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 no. That'd be Jean-Luc. I'm just the priest. Well... <laughs> Berwick, you have seem to be... A man who's been around these parts for long enough. Uh, I will... Almost a hundred years. I, I will ask where John Luke is really quick. Probably at home. In or home. probably helping out in the farms. Mm. Doing what he can to keep this place up and running. And where would its house be? Uh, actually, right around back. Now, behind this place. Ah, yeah, the one in the middle, I thought so. Hmm. <laughs> well, my major question is, what is the oldest building in this village? Not a blunt curiosity. Oldest building? <laughs> oldest structure, building, what have you. Oh. Is there anything that's, like, incredibly old? That? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh... Uh, uh, Let me see here. If you're looking for the oldest, if you're looking for the oldest thing around here, that'd probably be the sundial. Suck. Where's that? Real old structure. Been here since around eh, third era, I believe. There's this big old. Big old barren spot out in the forest. Right around where? I knew it. <laughs> Fucking son of a heart! <laughs> Me up off game. You do not swear <laughs> in the Lord's house. Yeah, Me, I was me, for me you up off game. I, I was waiting for you to do it in game. The Lord hears you above game. <laughs> I don't care. Jack's gonna immediately turn. Uh, like, look at freaking you and be like, tell the others immediately. I'm going there now. I, I will. I am going to add something really quick, though. Yeah, go ahead. A uh, question. I know there's a large bat population. Is there perhaps a cave nearby? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, from what I... Jack turns briefly as he's about to leave. They live in the barns. Yeah, we. well, I mean, the barns we set up for them. This place has always had a big old bat population. Yeah, Town just kind of... They live in caves originally. Just kind of shrugs. They can live in forests, too. They've been here for probably longer than the town's been here. We just we just became their neighbors. But none of us had to speak with the animal. You folks gonna be around well, for a while? Uh yes, probably. Our vehicle well, broke down. Oh, that ain't good. I don't Me, think it, yes. I'm not sure if you noticed, but we don't exactly have a mechanic around here. Oh, well, we are well aware. If y'all are so inclined, we're going to be having communion tomorrow. Get the folks' spirits mm. on up. Uh, I, <laughs> Thanks for the invitation. I, I doubt suppose. It. I doubt it, but Ivan's going to ask a question. By the way, you wouldn't happen to see... Uh, any strange people nearby, would you? Nearby? Honestly, we well, haven't had vi near... we haven't had visitors in quite a while, actually. Okay, let's just get it. Yeah, it's the last time you had visitors. <laughs> A 
couple of months back, I think. Do you remember what those visitors may have looked like? Uh, I mean, the same people who come by and buy up most of our manure. We get quite a few of that coming on in, and then su supplies from... Where did those supplies come from? Ah, somewhere. Some fancy base place. Mm. Oh, kind of glances to the rest of them. It says, you know, I don't think the barrier has been here that long then, right? We were assuming a few months at minimum. Yeah, we established that it popped up at the same time as the eclipse happened. Mm-hmm. Do we, do we know how many days exactly the eclipse happened then? I don't have... Imagine if we thought about it. I don't have an exact number of days, but it has been a couple of months. You guys um, were actually there during the eclipse, or at least in jail. Yeah, we were, we were there the day of the eclipse. So... This popped up while we were in prison, so... And it's been a while since that's it's, happened. Yeah, it's been a couple of months. Well, Jack's immediately gonna run out, probably find Simon finally catching up. Yeah, at this point I'm... You actually don't? You're actually <laughs> like, you're walking out and I'm behind you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh good, you're here. No luck. Although I found well, a suspicious I have, cicada later, my you. suspicions proved to be nothing. We have a problem. What? A big problem. According to the priest, there's an old sundial in the middle of the goddamn forest. That's what mu that what must be what Anatar's after. A sundial? Think about it. The eclipse? Oh. It's worth investigating. You might be onto something. Where are the rest? I'm... Hello? Simon and Neville were inside. Alex, I think, is points over How'd to I the How did I get in there? Hello? We can hear you, kid. Yes, hello. We can hear you. Okay. So, I'm going to fly over to that sundial and see what the hell is going on. Uh, we should move together as a group. Well... I have going the greatest. To go ahead, you stealth. <clears throat> I'll observe from afar. All right. And see what's going on. Then I. Well, if you're discovered if it's... and something is hostile, just fire your gun into the air as a signal. You won't miss me. I'll be very fast. And he's going to cast haste on himself and use a spell point to extend the duration. Oh, okay. Wait, a sundial. Oh no, we're going to Anatar's grandfather clock. No! Okay. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay. One moment. Yes, okay. All right. And do the rest of you convene? I guess. That includes me. Someone will have to come. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, let's actually convene at the water tower. Or the windmill. 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 Sure, hey, Carson, calm down. Hmm? Oh, all right. Do we have different plans now? We may have found the location of the sun vault. Or shadow vault. You shadow vault. Maybe. That's why I said may. Jack oh. is fairly confident on the issue. I and see. is hurrying there now. Follow us. I That's personally me. think that it's a cave where the bats are coming from. It could very well be inside the vault. That the bats made their original nest. Perhaps sealed away. Right. Simply lead the way. And I 
So you guys begin to make your way there. Everyone except for Jack, roll me a perception check real quick. As I'm assuming you guys are taking the same road on back down instead of just cutting straight through the forest. Uh, here we go. Uh, Nevo with the... Ah, uh, oh, damn it. Yep. Oh, I'm historically <laughs> great at these. Yeah, also, there you go. You gotta still got the goggles on. Nevo is the first one to see this as you guys are kind of dashing on down the road. Um, as you pass on by the Justicar, the hood is ajar. Man, the, oh, the Justicar is on the opposite side. Hmm. I thought the just a car was to the south. That's Over. where we're going. Oh, I thought yeah. we were going up. I thought we were going north. No. Oh, no. Down uh, here. Oh, okay. Shit, 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 shit. I run over to it. You don't see this as you are looking forward. Nevo's the one to see this. Oh. Oh, then I'll point it out first then. It does the same thing. Is it gone? It looks like the container that was holding it was, is like loosed, opened up. Looks like one of the panels on the engine is kind of pushed back a little bit. The little globby's gone. No. She's gonna sort of drape herself over the front of the fucking car. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'll wait for Venom to get back. And does not continue to follow everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what you say? Oh, that you only made it where? The right goal is the shot of all. I'm glad we were. I'm glad we were able to get a new player quote. One. All right, I'm back. All right. It was you. You said, I, I laughed at the line, but I let the scene keep going. You said basically your skeleton is connected to you like a familiar. <laughs> All right. Good line. The Rhine Gold is a, the Rhine Gold is a shadow vault. And I let me see here. Here we go. As you guys make your way into this clearing, not Alex. Not yeah. Uh, Alex is still <laughs> draped over the car, sadly. But as for the rest of you who wander into this open area. As you come across this old, dilapidated structure, I shall end it for tonight. I'm waiting for the Rheingold to be changed by the Shadow Vault, and we're gonna have to fight the Rheingold until she can become a Tensei boss. He's a Rheingold cowboy. Turns into a giant penis monster. <laughs> As befitting of a no, Shin Megami Tensei game. It turns to Mara. Yeah. Alright. That is where we're gonna end it for tonight. Uh -huh. I don't wanna see what's in the clearing. Did it not swap you over? We are. Oh, it is? Oh, hello. Yeah, it's this. No, I just I, I was grabbed out. Oh, oh, okay. Lol. Alright. And that's where we shall end it there, as you stumble upon an old and ancient third era structure sitting in the middle of this clearing. <laughs> Alright. There we go. End it a little early so people can get some sleep and we're not 
diving into like 3 a.m. for some people. <laughs> let's let's let let's go through a whole session without anyone falling uh, asleep from sleep deprivation in the middle of it. I mean, that's what we just did. Yeah, we did pretty good today. We did it. Mm-hmm. We beat the curse. We beat the curse, you guys. No more curse. Yeah, surprisingly, I'm not tired because I took a day off this week. Hmm. It's very healthy to do. Ah, and I got four-day weekend right now. Nice. I got three. Yeah. Oh, thanks for listening, everyone. Three as well. I yeah, right. see a chat. In oh, oh, shit. Shit. Four, there we go. Yeah. Three, two, one. Bye. Bye.